Hey guys, quick update on the aquarium here. Just wanted to talk about a couple corals I have going on here. I got this one here. It's a torch coral. It's kind of been dying off, holding on to its last leg for a long time. I've had that one since the beginning. And then I also have this trachea down here that's kind of been receding over a long time. Got him at the same time I got this one, but that one hasn't been doing as good. Same with my acans. The acans haven't been doing too well either. So to combat that, you know, I've been testing a lot and um, found that I was low on alkalinity and calcium just by a bit. So I've been kind of dosing to help that, boosting that up with a little extra than the normal calcwasser that I would be dosing. But uh, I've been adding some extra, I think I got some stuff over here. <clears throat> Just like uh, alkalinity that I originally dosed did, but then I started using some all for reef and this stuff is amazing. It's definitely uh, super uh, concentrated, so I don't have to dose much for such a small tank I have. So that's been doing good, but got my levels back to what I want them at. Alkalinity's at eight and calcium's around 420. And then magnesium's like uh, 1360, roughly. So and I was still having issues with them, so I decided to get some of these dips. Now, this one here, I believe has iodide in it, yeah. It's, so this one contains iodine and iodide. I believe it's a double type. It might have both in it. And then this one's just a uh, cleaner. So this one's normal kind of frag dip that you would use to clean off the pests and whatnot. Also, um, it says it helps accumulate, but I believe this one's just like an all natural kind of blend of stuff. This is the main thing that I was hoping to kind of disinfect any kind of um, things that might be going on. So that's been working pretty good. I did the, the A-cans the other day and they seem to be a little happier. I mean, the, the green one at the back there, he's a little puffier. And then the big one there, which I bought um, it was receding when I bought it, but it's definitely uh, showing some good good signs. But again, these used to be super puffy, so they're not back there yet. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. I might do an ICP test to figure it all out a little bit more in depth, but we'll see. I, dose, I dipped these today. So hopefully I can get an answer with the IPC test. But other than that, I mean, just trying to equalize stuff. The tank has been doing pretty good. Most of the corals are growing. You can see the rainbow Monty there is growing great. It's got some some new growth on the on the bird's nest there, and I definitely can't get rid of these mushrooms. I got rid of a bunch of them, but I also actually have some new zoas coming in there. So everything else is doing healthy. It's just the acans and then that torch stuff that hasn't been too happy for a while. But other than that, everything's growing pretty well and uh, seems to be pretty happy. Definitely going to have to keep an eye on those, but we'll see. I just did a pretty good feeding the other day, and this guy's been happy ever since throwing out his sweeper tentacles. But yeah, I'll uh, have to make an update after this, see if um, that iodine dip helps at all for the, the two corals here that have been receding, and then hopefully my acans are showing a bit better after that. And then uh, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Thank you.